Welcome, crypto enthusiasts. So, Pi Network silently released a new KYC update. And like I promised you, whichever update that comes up about the KYC, we are going to discuss about it here. In today's video, you're going to learn about this new update and how to go about it. You're going to learn about the email verification that comes with it and how to solidify the whole process. This video is the part three of fixing your pending and tentative KYC issue. So without further ado, let's head straight into this very video. So the first thing you're meant to do right now is to click on this three hamburger sign at the top left hand corner of your screen and then click on mainnet right here. Now, once you click on mainnet, you're meant to click on mainnet checklist right here. And this would bring you to this very page, which is your mainnet checklist. Now, if you notice right here, you would notice that step three right here needs fixing. And I know you might be wondering, but I have done this before. Why? is this popping up again i will tell you why the pi algorithm is trying to confirm this very wallet you have set here if you know you're one of those people that changed your wallet maybe because your wallet was compromised or for any reason at all even if you didn't change your wallet you are advised to come to your minute checklist and come to this very part right now because this update is literally for everyone so make sure you come over here and check this from time to time so once you see this right here you ought to know that you are meant to confirm your pi wallet right whether you have done this before or not if i click on confirm your pi wallet right now this is going to bring us to this very page sometimes you might see a button that says you have to do this on the pi app just click on that button and it will redirect you to this very page now this is asking us to enter our passphrase please note that any passphrase you enter here that is the passphrase your coins will be sent to okay so if i go to my pi browser right now and click on wallet okay this is going to lead us to the wallet section now there's something i want to show you before we add our passphrase right here okay so if i go to the pi browser right now and pi wallet exactly i'm going to add my 24 word seed phrase right here and unlock this with the passphrase right here so i'm just going to do that right now and click on unlock with passphrase right here so that you would see the notification that will pop up okay for security reasons i'm just going to skip this part okay now this is the message you're going to see and i know some of us might have been wondering what is this message talking about now it says activate your wallet your wallet is not yet active until your kyc this is a requirement for all wallets in order to transact by mind you the image you're seeing on your screen right now shows that I am KYC, but the Pi algorithm needs extra confirmation that you are KYC. And for the algorithm to be sure that you are KYC, you have to confirm your wallet in your Pi network app, not your Pi browser app, right? So we have to go back to our Pi network app right now and paste in our passphrase exactly as we have done right now. So let's just head to our Pioneer Stock app right now. So what you're meant to do right now is to enter the passphrase of the wallet you want your coins to be sent to. Please keep this in mind. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And once you do that, then you go ahead and click on confirm your wallet. Okay. Now, an email verification is going to be sent to you, right? To the email you linked to your Pi Network app. So we're going to head over to the notification right now, or you can simply head over to your email and grab that very email if you don't receive notifications. Okay. So I'm just going to click on this very email right now, and this is going to lead us directly to that very email. So yes, you can see right here, this message says verify this email is from Pi Network. So you can uh, click on this right here, which says verify your migration wallet okay so this is the one you are meant to click on but this is uh from the pi network team so we don't have to worry about that so we're just going to go ahead and click on verify your migration wallet and this is going to take us to the social chain app okay and please open this email on your mobile device and select link to continue so what we're going to do right now is to long press and hold this and then open this in our browser right and this is going to redirect us to the pi network app and as you can see verification is now successful so you have successfully verified your wallet your pi rewards will be migrated to this very address okay please take note of the address because this address is the address of the wallet you just linked to your pi network app so if you made a mistake now is time to correct it you can click on this bubble button and correct it otherwise you can just go ahead and click on go back okay so this is it we have now verified that passphrase in the step three of our mainnet checklist so let's head back right now and click on the hamburger sign again click on mainnet click on mainnet checklist and you can see your wallet has been confirmed 
okay now this is not all there's something you also need to do in the kyc section of your pi app right there's something you need to do so let's head back to the pi browser right now so yes so what you have to do to complement this process is to click on the kyc right here okay just click on kyc and once you click on kyc right now you can see my kyc is currently displaying tentative approval now this is what a lot of people are facing okay if you know you've done everything to resolve the kyc and this pops up you don't have to beat yourself over it this has been discovered to be a bug or system error and with time it's going to correct itself as long as you know you've passed your kyc and this pops up again you do not have to worry normally the reason this occurs is because you are asked to do the liveness test again and when you do and there are some irregularities this is going to automatically switch to tentative okay so so uh, what you have to do right now is to click on synchronize status on mining app right so we're going to do this right now and this is going to help solidify the kyc process so you can see right here status sent meaning that we have successfully sent this status okay so with all you've just done now you have a higher chance of passing your kyc okay so from time to time you come over to your pi browser and click on the kyc to know if you have passed the kyc okay so like i said before this is the battery of fixing your pending and tentative kyc issue but that's not all let's also address the email notification that pops up on our pi home screen okay so let's head over to the pi app right now so if you open up your pi app and you happen to see this pop-up notification that says verify your trusted email please note that the email that we're talking about is the email you linked in the profile section of your pi app but if you want to change that very email or you're not sure of that email anymore, you can go ahead and click on add a new trusted email. But if you're sure of this very email, then you can go ahead and click on the purple button that says send verification email. Now, you're going to be asked or meant to enter a code right there. So what you're meant to do right now is to head over to your email and grab that very code. Okay. But if you receive notifications, you can just wait for the email to come up or pop up as a notification at the top of your screen. And then you click on that very email. Once you click on it, all you have to do right now is to copy the code and once you copy the code head back to your pi app and paste in that very code and then click on confirm as you can see your email verification is now a success it is successful and you are all good to go okay so with this you have a higher chance of getting verified for your kyc so i'll leave the link to the part one and part two of fixing your pending and tentative kyc issue you will find those links in the description of this very video so you can go ahead and watch those videos and understand this process better okay so this is the new pi kyc update on to print your notice today if you enjoyed the video do well to leave a like and share so that other people who need this very information will be able to access it easily also join our social media handle which i'll leave the link to in the description of this very video and subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you haven't so that whenever i drop any new updates about pine at all you won't also miss out and you might probably be one of the first to get that very update until i come your way next time i'm your crypto guy daniel stay safe